okay there is some notification yeah i am sorry i'll just uh, begin again as to keep in mind the pandemic is not a word to use lightly or carelessly it is a word that if misused can cause unreasonable fear or unjustified acceptance that the fight is over leading to unnecessary suffering and death so this is something to be kept in mind whenever we think of covid and whenever we feel that covid is over and finally we can remove our masks it is not over and it will subsequently be over so gradually we have to take care of it now moving on to the pandemic history as we all know the virus was first identified in december 2019 in wuhan china and then who declared it a public health emergency of international concern on 30th january 2020 as of 22nd may 2021 more than 166 million cases have been confirmed with more than 3.44 million confirmed deaths creating it a catastrophe in the whole world initial symptoms of covid-19 can be fever chills cough muscle ache fatigue loss of taste and smell as of may 2021 total number of cases have been approximately 16 crores in the whole world out of which 2.6 crores are of india hello uh, sorry someone saying anything no no please continue yeah okay So these are the number of total reported tests and positive reports. Now we look to the global infections. The numbers have increased subsequently, and India has recorded the highest number of cases globally, with USA, India, Italy, UK, France being on the top. Okay, so this is a very common question about what to do if you have tested positive. so most people with covid-19 have mild illness and can recover at home but most of the people not most of the people but some people require hospitalization or oxygen dropout rates have been increasing in the second wave so there are some precautions such as do not leave your home except to get medical care and do not visit public areas at all if you have tested positive take care of yourself get rest and stay hydrated and be sure to take your medicines on time these are some basic guidelines that have been issued for covid-19 patients there are several groups at risk although we all are at risk but there are several groups which are more prone to the virus such as children and senior citizens individuals with health conditions and disabilities for example people with diabetes or sugar problem have more chance of getting in contact with the virus and the recovery rate is also not very good thirdly pregnant women and breastfeeding women are also at a great risk there are some available testing methods such as rt pcr test which is a polymerase chain reaction which is the full form of pcr and they are sent away to a lab to diagnose i'm sorry diagnose the disease next we have antibody test or serology test they can't detect the active infection but they can help to tell if a person has immunity to covid-19 or not now these are some frequently asked questions such as when should i get tested people who have symptoms of covid-19 most people who have had close contact with someone confirmed with covid-19 should get tested and uh, then other another question is that can i test negative when then test positive so basic question is that can we again test positive once we have been recovered from the corona virus so yes people who have tested positive for covid-19 within the past 3 months and recovered do not need to get tested following an exposure as long as they do not develop new symptoms once you have new symptoms or you feel dizzy or fatigue as the initial symptoms were mentioned it is advised that you get tested and see what can be done and consult a doctor what does my test mean if you have tested negative then it's fine and well you 
can meet new people you can go to public areas but still precautions are very necessary but if you test positive you should know what preventive steps to take to prevent others from getting sick and consult a doctor as soon as you possible now next steps after you have ste tested positive can be track your symptoms stay indoors at all cost isolate yourself rest and hydrate and inform your doctor which basically means keep tracking your systems keep tracking your symptoms once uh, you have developed a fever check it again after some time and keep doing it stay indoor which is very very important because you don't want and nobody wants to get infected by you or even you don't want to infect others third is the most important thing is to isolate yourself isolating yourself will be good for your family and for your loved ones and yeah as i mentioned before you do not want to infect it, anyone else rest and hydrate hydrating is very very important because the more you hydrate the more you lose the virus so resting and hydrating is very important and then inform your doctor which is very necessary because without any prescription you won't be advised to take any medicines so consult your doctors as soon as possible one of the major problems that i have seen nowadays is that people don't use masks properly like they uh, they put up the mask but the masks are hanging halfway or the masks are not properly in use so mask should be uh, used as a part of comprehensive strategy of measures to suppress transmission and save lives and who has also declared that masks are a very necessary thing to prevent the spread of coronavirus the use of mask alone is not sufficient although it is not sufficient alone but then it provides adequate level of protection improper mask use make wearing a mask normal part of being around other people the appropriate use storage and cleaning or disposal of masks are essential to make them as effective as possible now the recommended masks fabric mask should be made of three layers of fabric inner layer of absorbent material so that if you sweat or something like that happens the layer should be absorbent and it should not uh create some irritation on your skin such as cotton middle layer of non woven non absorbent material such as polypropylene so that the virus or any germs do not uh intersect the third layer which is the innermost layer outer layer of non absorbent material such as polyester or polyester blend if purchasing a fabric mask from a store check to make sure it meets national performance standards and there are some standards uh, also provided by who such as n95 masks which are deemed very necessary for covid-19 so those are also recommended now there are some general preventive measures it doesn't concern if you have tested positive or not so social distancing is one of the measure and using gloves so that you do not uh, come in direct contact with the virus through touch or anything else face covers are another important thing as mentioned in the previous slides and regular cleaning and disinfecting since it was now uh, shown that virus has become airborne so it is very necessary to regularly clean and disinfect the surfaces there are some disinfection methods such as soap and water through which we clean our hands epa registered household disinfectants these din disinfectants basically disinfect the surfaces of your household and they are not to be used on your body or on your hands diluted bleach or 70% alcohol out of which sanitizers are made so yeah these are some very important disinfection methods there are some guidelines about how to properly disinfect surfaces wear reusable or disposable gloves clean with soap and water first and then use disinfectant keep surface wet for a period of time and such information is mentioned on the disinfectant as well points to remember interactive 
with more people increases your risk and being in a group that isn't social distancing increases your risk even more and engaging with new people and asymptomatic individuals can still transmit the virus it is believed that uh, if you do not have any symptoms so you cannot be the person transmitting the virus or infecting anyone else but it should be kept in mind that even if you are not infected you can act as a carrier as well you can be a carrier of virus and that's even more dangerous so when should a person seek medical attention so if a person feels difficulty in breathing a doctor should be consulted asap persistent pain or pressure in the chest if a person feels persistent pain and pressure or congestion in the chest doctor medical attention should be seeked because it can be a sign of chest infection inability to wake or stay awake can be another symptom or bluish lips and face a blue tint on your face or on your lips can also be a signal that you have to seek medical attention now it's time that we start living in the new normal and the covid-19 has changed our life as we know it as the rate of infections begins to slow down in some hard hit areas early signs of recovery are appearing some towns cities and states are starting to slowly reopen businesses and public areas and more so it is the time that we start living in this new normal with uh, abiding by all the precautionary rules and regulations and guess this is how we will together hit this virus now coming to a very important point which is vaccination so there are a lot of uh, skepticism about uh, how to get vaccine one should get vaccine or not so i'll tell you why vaccination is important so after you are fully vaccinated for covid-19 you may be able to start doing some things that you stopped because of the pandemic so as you can start eating your favorite favorite food ordering from outside that you might have stopped during the pandemic vaccines will work with your immune system so it will be ready to fight the virus if you are exposed so it is a very good thing that it provides immunity and vaccines main purpose is that it provides immu immunity to the body against the virus covid-19 vaccination will help protect you by creating an antibody antibodies mean that these are the antigens to the virus and uh they are formed in the immune system and yes there are some do's and don'ts if you are getting vaccinated there are a few bleeding disorders like hemophilia these persons should take the vaccine under the supervision of their treating physician as some of the vaccine have side effects such as blood clotting etc so it is advised that if you have such disorder or such problem uh, you take the vaccine under the supervision of a professional after receiving the covid vaccine shot stay put at the vaccination center for 30 minutes for the observation time it is to monitor any adverse event following immunize immunization which means afia remember it is normal to have side effects like mild fever pain at the injection site and body ache this is similar to the side effects that occur post some other vaccines these are expected to subside after some time so basically these side effects are a signal that your body is actually fighting the virus is actually fighting the weakened virus that has been put through the vaccine so these are some vaccines in india such as covishield and covaxin which are mostly present throughout the india the covishield is basically uh, made from a weakened version of common cold virus known as adenovirus from chimpanzees it has been modified to look more like corona virus although it can't cause illness so it basically has a weakened corona virus and that is injected into our body and then our body fights back and subsequently the antibodies are made next up we have is covaxin It is an inactivated vaccine, which means that it is made up of killed coronaviruses, making it safe to be injected into the body. Now, how to register yourself? 
you can visit the coven app or the coven website which is www.coven.gov.in step one is to the visit the coven website and click click on register or sign in yourself step two then is to add your mobile number and click on get otp after receiving the otp type the digits on the site and click on verify step three enter all your details including photo id proof name gender year of birth and etc whatever is asked once this is done hit register after you register you will get an option to schedule an appointment check on your slots check the appropriate timing and the day and then schedule and then book the slot and finally add your pin code and click on search select the date and time and click on confirm it is important to know that users can add up to four members through one login and can easily reschedule an appointment so finally your registration process is completed and now uh, we must all uh, have learned a lesson and this lesson is that ultimately the greatest lesson that covid-19 can teach humanity is that we are all in this together thank you so much